Virgo, hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, these messages are going to be general, so if they do resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you would like to schedule a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and advice from Spirit on helping us all how to thrive here as empaths. All right, let's, without further ado, let's dive right in, Virgo. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Going forward, we have the Lover's Card. Very nice way to start out. Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the King of Cups. Virgo, there is love here for you. Definitely, I'm sensing a soulmate connection. But the thing is, is it, you really want to stand your ground with what you believe in. Because I feel like right now, there's a few differences of opinions going forward, which is not a bad thing. It's just you guys figuring it out and working together, right? Figuring out what works for you and figuring out what you want for your lives. But remember that what's important to your spirit has to uh, come through, right? Because if you're not living your life authentically and happily, then it's you're gonna there's gonna be some type of resentment or some type of um, miscommunication further down the road. And what's interesting is that you and your this relationship with the Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles has all the potential to uh, of the making of a very romantic, very successful relationship. Something that's really gonna be balanced, grounded, and very fulfilling. Um, but the thing is, is that right now, I feel like you both have to appreciate each other's, uh, what each other brings to the table and really give, um, um, a level of value to what some, the other person wants to do. Cause I feel like new ideas are kind of coming forward. I feel like new opportunities are kind of being brought to the table. And it's really important to hear those because what someone's spirit rec recommends for the relationship, what excites somebody generally is good for both members of the party. But you know, whenever one of the um, partners in the relationship has an idea. Um, the other person, it, it, it tends to challenge their ego a little bit because if that didn't come from them, then they will be feel, you know, a little bit threatened, right? And then, so they will respond in that way. So just understand that whenever somebody comes to the relationship and has an idea and it's, they're very excited about it, you know, allow that person to express that and really communicate and see, is this something that would be good for us? Or is this an idea we want to ground because it's a, a good idea at the time, but it might not correlate with what we want for our relationship or for our life down the road, right? So that's what's really important moving forward. Let's see what else we have for you, Virgo. Let us see here. Five of Swords, Two of Cups, and Page of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. So again, it's just all about really um, keeping in mind, keeping a balance in with those egos, making sure that, the, you know, like, and again, ego is such a, you know, such a, um, uh, has such a bad stigma. It's just human filters. That's all it is. Okay. Our egos are our human filters based upon the experiences that we faced here. And, um, they come through whenever there is something that makes us feel disturbed. But I'll tell you something. Those shadows and your ego is, is actually your essence. It's who you are, but we're protecting ourselves, right? Our ego is there to protect who we really are. So again, when someone brings an idea to the table, something that really is, is, feels kind of exciting, like a new beginning of some kind, and we feel threatened, recognize that energy, Virgo, because that's probably what you're going to want to do. But because it's new and ungrounding and someone else is bringing it up, we didn't come up with the idea. We're going to be defensive about it. But just, again, don't play into that defensiveness as if, as if that's who you are, because it's not who you are. It's literally just your internal guidance system saying like, hey, heads up, Virgo, this may actually be a really cool change for you guys. Okay. And again, whenever we're in a relationship and we need to push past blockages or push past any type of level of exhaustion or, or, you know, stuck energy of some sort, action needs to be taken. More passion needs to be brought in, um, trying new things, doing new things together, um, some type of activity. That's always what uh, builds a relationship and keeps the relationship solid, keeps the relationship growing, keeps the relationship in good terms, right? Because if we're growing and we're constantly taking action, then we're in alignment with our spirits because our spirits want to progress. Our spirits want to take action. Our spirits always want to get to the next level of the video game. It's always our limiting human mind beliefs that keep us very stuck in a time. And that really ground, that really keeps us complacent. And when we are complacent, our relationships fail because we're not being, living the life that we truly came here to live. And our uh, subconscious knows that our spirits, our souls know that. So that's why 
it's really important to, again, always put energy into something, new energy, try new things, do new things, start an activity, but be mindful about when you're putting energy into something and it's depleting you and it's not giving you energy back. Because when it is depleting you, that's when you know that it's the wrong area of focus. Because anything you put energy into must leave you feeling passionate, joyful, grateful, appreciative. Well, I should say you want to put that energy into what it is you're trying to create, right? Passionate, joyful, <laughs> appreciative, grateful, um, uh, uh, appreciative, joyful, because at the end of the day, when you put that energy into something, that's when it manifests, right? That's when it, it, it generates more growth. It's whatever, whenever we come from a scarcity mindset or a uh, fearful state of being that things don't manifest for us, right? So if you feel fear in any way, or if you're trying to make a decision based off of a scarcity mindset, like I'm just going to be with this person because, well, you know, it's comfortable and I know them and I don't want to go, I don't want to take care of going through the motions of, you know, finding someone new scarcity mindset, right? You're just, you're, you're, what's the word I'm looking for? You are, um, oh, um, you're not raising your standards enough, Virgo is what it is, right? You have to listen to your spirit. And a lot of the times we will, um, we will drop our standards. We will not, um, live, um, we will just live through our human perspective, right? And again, in the case of love, in order for love to really manifest, which I can see it's here for you because we have the beloved card. Okay. So this is a very important message. Prepare for your life partner. If you no longer, if you don't have it in your life yet, it's coming. Romance is returning to your relationship. Okay. Believe you are lovable. And the believe you are lovable is a big one because again, love comes from the feeling we feel about ourselves. So if you don't love who you are, then you're not going to project that into the relationship. And you're constantly going to be battling with your partner about your own limiting beliefs. You know what I mean? And it has nothing to do with them, but they're going to feel like it has everything to do with them, but it's really everything to do with you. So just be mindful of that or vice versa. You know what I mean? Or vice versa. All right. So let us move forward. We also have the patience card. So again, universe is saying be patient. Everything will manifest. Everything will work out how it's supposed to. But we have to, you know, enjoy the ride, you know, enjoy the journey. If again, if we're coming from an energy of, I want things to happen right now, I want things to be my way right now, then it's a very scarce mindset and it's only hindering you, beautiful soul, right? It's only holding you back from achieving your desires. That's all. And if you ever feel like you're in that energy, again, that's when action needs to be taken. You need to do something about it. And whether it is, um, you know, d diving into what it is that you're currently involved in, like if you are wanting things to progress in your profession or your career, but there's really not much more action you could put into it, then put action into another area of life, right? If, if, if you want your love relationship to manifest stronger, well, if, if there's really not much more you can do with it, which there's always something you could do with a love life, right? Maybe make them a scrapbook or maybe, you know, plan a vacation together or, um, have a nice dinner planned. You know what I mean? There's always something you can do for the relationship. Um, but ultimately if you just feel like everything's going really, really well, just know that, you know, you can go and put energy into yourself, right? You can control that. You can control, um, you know, just making sure you're the best version of yourself. Cause if you're always trying to be the best version of yourself, then you are constantly progressing and constantly learning. And that's what it's about. And that's when you truly turn knowledge into wisdom because you really feel it in the depths of your core. It's not just like, okay, this happened again. This fight happened again. Here we go again. It's like, ah, I see this fight happened again because a, a, a human filter was triggered. This human filter needs to be corrected, but it hasn't yet. This is what the human filter is. You know what I mean? You're really going to be more aware more present. And it really is about observing when things happen, not about a reacting, right? Because when we react, we're really not going to get any results. And it is about getting results. It is about progressing forward. And that's why the universe is saying it might be time for a deep dive to look even further Virgo about what it is that may be upsetting you, causing you any type of discomfort. Because again, whenever we feel disturbances or discomfort within ourselves, like when, when somebody says something, somebody does something, and we feel like we're, our feather, feathers are ruffled, there's always a shadow within there. We want to take a deep dive into it because if we do not, then it will constantly, um, uh, reemerge. And then we will repeat the same patterns, the same cycle, the same arguments, the same fights for years and years, and it becomes exhausting. <laughs> it really does. And so it's important to really look and see the root of what is really being caused. And that is taking a deep dive, really being an observer, really being mindful to why things are happening the way they are. Cause again, how you feel is always your internal GPS system. Nothing else. It's not 
your thoughts. Your thoughts are just the backseat driver. Your thoughts are all the stimulation that you absorb. It's how you feel that is your navigation system. So again, when you're mindful of how you feel, then you're able to disconnect from it altogether and be like, okay, I'm feeling this type of way. Why am I feeling like this, right? Really get the deep, dive deep into the why of it. And then you will be able to process it, breathe through it, appreciate the answer because love always creates space for more manifestations and you will live a much more happy, freeing, uh, more in control life. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Virgo. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.